What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, 400, one half of straight off the Av. Shout out to my co-host, Mr. Dubbins, and this is Smith's Reacts. Shout out to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And if you made it to this video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. New content every day. Now, check this out, man. Way, way back, man, there was uh, talks about Tretch and the legendary Tupac. Shoot, both of them are legends. Talks of these legends having a brawl in L.A. at a comedy club. You feel what I'm saying? So without further ado, we're going to jump right into Tretch speaking on what happened. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Let's go. You never spoke about this before, man, but I got to ask you. I seen Dave Chappelle. He spoke about it. Phase on Love. He spoke about it on my platform before. Shmoo B. He spoke about it on my platform before. Eddie Griffin. He was there that night. Tell me about the fight that you and Pac had at the comedy store in L.A. Yeah, in L.A., yo. We, we, it was crazy. It was in California at the comedy store off of Sunset, right next to the Sunset High. It was a comedy store. That was the biggest comedy spot out there. And what happened, we had ended up going to this spot. Um, This spot, the comedy spot, listening to comedy, having fun, doing all this. Um, It was like me, him, gang of other um, like people we was with. And what happened, we came at, whether well, it was like every Wednesday, every Thursday, we came on the week after, the Thursday beforehand, like some of the biggest crips in LA, the rolling 60s, they had gotten to an altercation with some bloods. And from what the story was, the bloods got the best of them. I think they was like outnumbered or whatever. So, you know, with the gang culture and mentality, they was like, we going back there next week to get some get back. So who had did that to them wasn't in there, but we was in there. So when the Rolling Sixties came in, they came in, who? D. And what they did, they came in first and they just started picking up chairs and bottles and all the rest of that. We heard a commotion in the back and like, it wasn't really too much of nothing. Cause we, you know, it could be fights anywhere, whatever. Before we got a chance to look back, like, pow, I got hit in the head with a chair. And bottles was like thrown on stage. Cause whoever was on stage, bounce. They was out. It was a full. So when I turned around, that's when I walked around with the big chain and lock around for all homies locked down. So I took that shit off immediately, popped, and everybody that was with us picked up bottles and chairs. And it just was like an all out brawl. You know what I mean? So we end up fighting our way. We got up out of there. You know what I mean? We we did what we had to do. But it was so, you know, real. We actually had, we had got green lit out there by the 60s. So that's a green light is like on site. Niggas is going to going roll on you and handle, handle business. It's like a hit. So I had to get up with my family that was out there. Um, and that was a, uh, Brother William Muhammad from number 54 Mosque in Compton. That was like my homie, but he had this security and all the rest of that there. So Pac was out of town at the uh, time I was coming back. He was like, yo, paying this shit out here in these streets. Um, we need to meet up. So what do you want to do it? Like, you want to go somewhere? I'm like, man, where, where we? He's like, we need to meet up with him to, to, to dead this because I know homies over there and anything else. So we met up in Compton. And sat down and was basically let it be known, like, we ain't disrespect the gang. We just was doing what we had to do to get up out of this. So they took the green light off and anything else. And the rest is history. We still here. We ain't have to go through that. Crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, that's wild, man. And you and Pac, y'all had another fight in San Francisco, right? Smooth B told me about that one. Smooth. I'm, listen, let me tell you something. In a day, and especially to all, all the new artists that's out and even the ones that came after us 20 years ago, 30 years ago. We had to literally fight through cities just from being out of town. Like, it wasn't just, you know, gangs in L.A. and anything else. You go to Little Rock, Arkansas, you go, <laughs> yo, and these, these, these the girls is all backstage and all the rest of it. Yo, trying to come back to the hotel, Nick, that ain't a good look. You feel me? So we literally had to fight out of situations. You know, back then, we was raw, we was, we was young and dumb. We had straps. We 
had homies we know pay with. So at any given time, it could be on because you get tested. They like, oh, these niggas hardcore rappers, all that. They ain't real like that. And our whole thing, we wasn't trying to be harder than nobody. Rakim said it best. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. You ain't going to take no whole town down out of niggas that ain't fucking with you or want to want want a piece. You doing what you got to do to get up out of there and get back home and not sit home in a box. So we we banged out, you know what I mean, when we had to. But it's a better situation now because a lot of artists learn how to roll and don't think like you the shit from where you from. You in somebody else's town and you, you could be fooled if you be woo. You <laughs> feel me? That's real talking. Me looking at you, you more of a bigger guy. Pac, he was a small dude, right? No, I'm small. Me and Pac was the same. We was like 160 pounds, 5'10", 5'11". I'm, I'm 5'10", 5'11". I'm now, I'm 170 pounds. I'm just cut the fuck up. I ain't playing. You know what I mean? I got I got work with them things and shit. Up them paws is still right. But nah, I'm not no big dude. I'm not no big dude. I'm just, I just know how to handle mine. Right, right. So Pac, he could get busy, yo, even though he was a small dude? Yeah. We squabble. We squabble. If we had, if somebody's coming with us with some son, we we pull out too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But we we from the school like, yo, let's get this fade. Let's get this fair one. And then anybody jump in and my homies jumping in. Mm-hmm. Like we come from the era where we'd rather fight, get it on. But nowadays it's like, I just say all the all the new rappers coming out, it ain't nothing punk about getting your security, getting your people right. And all that and, and roll correct because nowadays ain't nobody fighting. Hell no. Definitely not fighting, man. Definitely not fighting. And to put something in perspective real quick for those who may have never seen Tretch, you know what I'm saying, back in them days with the lock and chain. I'm going to bring the lock and chain on the screen just to put something in perspective. Like, imagine Buddy hit you with this John right here. Imagine he hit you with this. <laughs> he take this joint off and just start swinging it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tretch was low key a wild boy back then. Like, the 90s was definitely a different time. I was a youngster, like, super young for real. But I remember still in the Naughty, Naughty by Nature uh, albums and all that from my uh, pops and ish like that. You feel me? And seeing the cover, like, low key, that was one of my uh, favorite groups growing up, man. But, um, yeah, man, it, it it definitely sound like they definitely made it out, fortunately, because, you know, you get greenlit by the whole set. It's a wrap, bro. You never go into L.A. Like, <laughs> shoot, you shit. And then the whole thing about, you know, moving around in different towns. Shout out uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, man. My family from down there, you feel me? Shout out all my peoples in Little Rock, Locksburg, Texarkana, you know what I'm saying? Texas, you feel me? But look. It ain't no joke down there either, bro. If y'all never look, look up lo- Banging in Little Rock. Look up Banging in Little Rock. All my cousins made me watch that before I went and visit them, you know what I'm saying, for the little reunions and shit. But Tretch is right, bro. Everywhere you go, it's a hood and it's, and it's, and it's gangsters and it's things going on, especially in those times. Wasn't no cameras. A lot of them artists was riding around strapped, riding around, you know what I'm saying, you know, beefed up for real. And they was ready for action. You feel me? So Tupac and all that is, you know what I'm saying? It was definitely a a, a a different day without them cameras, bro. Cause nowadays everybody like this, like, you feel me? But back then it was on. But yeah, man, sign off in the comments, man. Uh like, share, comment, subscribe. If you made it to this point in the video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Shout out to the subscribers. You feel me? We definitely appreciate y'all. Um, and yeah, man, it's the homie Smith the 400. This has been Smith the Reacts. Signing off. Merch in the uh, merch links in the description, and I'm out of here, man. Owie.